So in addition to the potential for a conflict in laws, what are some of the other major challenges American companies face when doing business with China? Well, many of the challenges that our companies face are really quite prosaic. Uh, they are um, com challenges that companies would face uh, in any market. And, uh, but there, uh, I would say that China is, is uh, while it has features that would be common in any market, China is also completely unique in that the economy is growing very rapidly, very dynamic, uh, and uh, with a private sector that is uh, um, uh, bringing forth a lot of really interesting uh, competitors. Um, so I, I would say kind of in this, like uh, the same as every market bucket, I would say competition with local companies is becoming more and more difficult as Chinese companies are, have both scale and speed uh, that is uh, perhaps unseen in any other country in the world. I would say in China, prices are increasing rapidly. And that would be true of many prices, uh, certainly land and electricity, but it would also be true and most painful perhaps in the case of labor. Um, uh, wages are going up very rapidly in China and it's harder and harder to find both skilled and unskilled uh, labor. Finding adequate workers is really a, a, a huge issue uh, for many uh, American companies and other companies in China. A new problem uh, that both American and Chinese companies are facing is visas. Uh, at least for nearly a year and a half, uh, it's been difficult to travel. And the implications of that for the corporation are, are, are quite severe. Um, we have thousands of American executives that need to get to China yesterday and they can't do it. And similarly, Chinese can't come and visit the United States. And, and that creates a, a unique set of problems. I would also say that um, uh, Chinese uh, American companies in China are, are finding that the regulatory environment is becoming more and more complex and that the amount of money that they need to spend on compliance is, is only uh, uh, growing. Um, the unique problem that American companies face as compared to German or uh, Japanese companies is that um, American companies have to deal with uh, tariffs going both ways across the P Pacific. As much as um, uh, my guess would be about 80% of American uh, Chinese goods coming into the US and 90% of uh, American goods going to China are covered under the tariff uh, uh, system put up by uh, the Trump administration and uh, mirrored uh, by the Chinese at that time. And uh, this creates a tremendous uncertainty for American companies that other companies uh, don't face. So the, um, in many cases, um, the Chinese government and uh, the American government also have um, issued uh, exemptions uh, from uh, the tariffs, so what in the trade is called exclusions. So many American categories of exports have been excluded from the tariffs on a temporary basis. And because of those exclusions uh, are granted by the Chinese Ministry of Finance, therefore we've seen a huge surge of corn, soybean, wheat, and meat exports. But the exclusions are, and uh, it, the same would be true of energy, uh, LNG and crude. Um, but those exclusions are temporary. Um, and it's hard to build a business on uh, temporary exclusions. In the United States, uh, there have been exclusions granted on uh, PPE and other products uh, needed to fight um, uh, the pandemic. Uh, but again, those exclusions are, are temporary. And indeed, in the US, many of them have run out. Um, and so we're hopeful uh, that uh, the exclusions will be extended, that negotiations will continue, and that ultimately tariffs need to be removed uh, for the US and China to have anything of a semblance 
uh, of uh, a normal relationship. Now, the technology area is subject uh, to export controls and investment uh, controls, uh, as well as uh, other um, sanctions and prosecutions uh, and um, uh, entity listings uh, that uh, you don't see in say ag or energy or uh, consumer goods. Uh, and uh, if there are concerns on the technology side, and I, I would be the first to argue that indeed uh, technology does uh, impact on national security, um, you could get rid of the tariffs uh, and deal with uh, these other issues um, in, uh, through other mechanisms. Uh, so I don't think it's a, you, you know, a, a, a binary. Uh, we need to extend the exclusions, we need to get rid of the tariffs, but we need to deal with our national security concerns in a strategic, targeted, and careful manner. And I would say that there's a lot of work to do uh, in those areas. And until that work is done, uh, our Japanese and German and Korean competitors are, uh, are delighted uh, that uh, their market opportunities in both uh, the U.S. market and the Chinese market are greater than they should be. They're taking global market share and uh, American companies, farmers, workers, and ranchers are, are the ones who are paying the cost. Um, and so I'm hopeful that there will be a robust discussion on this issue uh, before too long.